Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can onboard your Go High Level SaaS clients. And if you don't know what Go High Level is, Go High Level is the all in one marketing and sales platform that allows us to take their platform, white label it, and sell it as our own software. Now, the way we onboard our clients is very important because it has a lot to do with our client retention. If you're lacking in your onboarding process, your clients will become overwhelmed and confused with Go High Level, and eventually they're going to cancel. Just think back to when you first started Go High Level, everything was confusing. There was a lot of features and tools, and most likely you were feeling overwhelmed. So that feeling is something that we don't want our clients to feel. All right, so step one before you onboard your client, you're going to want to collect payment from them. And the way you can do this is through Stripe. Stripe is one of the best payment processors out there, and it easily integrates well with Go High Level. So if you don't have a Stripe account, make sure that you create an account so you could be ready to send invoices. And one thing to note is you don't want to do any upfront work for free. So if you're in a meeting with your client over Zoom or in person, make sure at the end of the meeting, if they decide to move forward, that you collect payment at the end. All right, so once that's done, we're going to want to set up their account. But before we do that, we're going to need some information from them. So then you could go ahead and send them a onboarding form. So this is one of the onboarding forms that I sent to all my clients. And basically, I just have my client fill out all the information on this form just so I can set up their account with all the right information. And anyone who goes through my free course will have access to a free snapshot. And on that snapshot, I do have this onboarding form if you want it. So if you want to check it out, just go through the free course and you should find it in there. So once our client is finished filling out all this information, we could then go ahead and create their account. And the way we're going to set them up is by going back to agency view. And then we're going to go to sub accounts and then we're going to create them a sub account. So if you have a snapshot, you can go ahead and upload the snapshot to their account. But if you don't have one, just click on blank snapshot. Then right here, if they're listed on Google My Business, you could just search their business and add them like that. But if you can't find them or they're not on Google My Business, you could just add account manually. Then in here, you're just going to want to fill out all the information about their business. So you could just fill out their first name, last name, email address, then their business name, their business location, phone number, and website if they have one. And then once you're done doing that, you could go ahead and click save. All right. So now that you created their sub account, you're going to want to add your client to that sub account. And to do so, just click switch to sub account. Then you're going to want to go down here to the settings, then click on my staff. And then in here, you're going to want to add your client as an employee. So click add employee, user information, then add their first name, last name, email, phone number, and password. And the email and password that you enter in here is going to be the same info that they use to log into your software. So then after that, you're going to want to go to user permission and make sure you don't give them access to all the features of Go High Level. Only give them access to the features that you sold them on. That way you keep things simple and you don't overwhelm your client. And also your client isn't going to need every single feature. So why I show it to them. So go ahead and turn off any of the features that you don't want your client to see. And then for user roles, you could just switch them to an admin. And don't worry, they're not going to be able to see all of your other sub accounts. They'll only have access to their account. Then after that, you could click on save. And then you should see your client right here. And this is also where your client will add any employees that they may have. So after you added them right here, they should receive an email with their login information. And then they should be able to log into their account. One last thing we're going to want to do is make sure that their account is switched to SaaS. So to do so, we can go back to agency view, go to sub accounts. And then once you find their sub account, you could click on these three dots and then click switch to SaaS. And then if you already collected payment through Stripe, you can click on already have this customer in Stripe. And then you can find the customer in Stripe and then click convert to SaaS. And then their account should be ready to go. And by doing this, you can now profit on every text and email that your clients send. All right. So now that your client's account is ready to go, you can now schedule a launch call with them. And on this launch call, you're just going to walk them through your software, make sure that they feel comfortable. You can also help them finish integrating their business with your software. So if they still need to connect their Facebook or Google My Business or whatever, Whatever, you can get that done on the launch call. And also on this call, you're going to want to show them any work that you did for them. So any websites or funnels that you built them, any automations, make sure that you walk them through that. And then you can ask them if they want any changes to anything. So after that, your client should be good to go and ready to use your software. So one thing to note is after you're done with this process, you don't just want to ghost your clients and have them never hear from you again. I recommend that ever so often you reach out to them and ask them how they're doing and if they need anything just to make them feel that you care. And also this is going to benefit you as well because the better customer support you have, the longer your clients will stay with you. And also just remember that in the initial stages, your clients are probably going to need a lot of customer support because they're still learning your platform little by little. And that's one of the reasons why I made a onboarding course for my clients. So if you take a look down here where it says onboarding course, if my clients ever feel confused about a certain feature, they can refer to this course. And when they enter this course, they will have a bunch of tutorial videos on a lot of the features that Go High Level has. And this course saves me a lot of time because instead of my clients having to reach out to me, they can first 
just refer to this course and nine times out of ten this course is going to answer their questions also if you want access to this course i do give this course away for free to all my affiliates this course doesn't have any branding or logos on it you can white label this course plug it into your account and then give this away to your clients so if you signed up to go high level with my affiliate link you'll get access to this course and if you haven't received this course yet just reach out to me and i'll send it to you now if you do want to learn more about go high level i did create a completely free course that you can go through it'll take you through everything a to z how to start your own software company and how to start reaching out to clients so if you're interested in this free course you should find it in the description all right so that's pretty much how you onboard your clients you're first going to want to collect payment after the call then you're going to want to send them a onboarding form then you can set up their account then after that you're just going to want to jump on a success call or launch call and then after that your clients should be good to go i hope you enjoyed this video go ahead and like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one